All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Sentinel, 1977. This is going to be another John Carradine flick. I'm giving it five out of five stars. I thought I was going to hate this flick at the beginning. That's what I told uh, Adrian. It got really bad reviews. It got panned by the critics when it came out in 77. This is a supernatural horror, rated R. Got full frontal. Although the uh, the gal is sitting down, I believe she's the. Uh, her name is Deborah Raffin. She plays. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, she's in uh, Death Wish Three. This is a Michael Winner. Um, if you know Michael Winter, he was responsible for the Death Wish movies. And um, Deborah Raffin for sure was in uh, Death Wish 3. Another Michael Winter movie. And um, she plays Sylvia Miles, lesbian. Well,. She plays Sylvia Miles' sister. They're supposed to be like uh, murderers. Keep, come back from the dead. And, um, and they're actually having lesbian food. The two sisters. Kind of kinky. Uh, necrophilia, incest, and lesbian food. Who could have thought of that up besides Michael Winner? <laughs> A long list of big names I don't even know where to start Christina Raines looks pretty good and, uh, she's either wearing a nylon bra in this one you can see her nipples but they're kind of um, dark shade with the uh, nylon bra on really interesting Christina Raines she was in uh, Nashville and then you've got, um, oh, and then she uh, she doesn't wear a bra in one scene. You can see her nipple impressions. Pretty uh, women's lip kind of uh, Christina Raines. She looks pretty good, like she might be a B cup or something. But... Um, Yeah, I mentioned John Carradine. Um, so this is going to be another uh, apartment building that's the gateway to hell. I can't even remember the name of the last movie that I saw that had an apartment building that was the gateway to hell. But I know I've reviewed one of them that has the same kind of theme, and it reminded me a lot of them. The mechanic. That, is that the one that costs like fifteen bucks on YouTube, or is that the assassin? Uh, anyways, cool flick. Um, I posted the link in the description box of the trailer. Screen Factory actually has this on uh, Blu-ray believe it or not. And then you've got uh, and then you've got the link to the movie on YouTube if you want to pay for it. Couldn't find a free version of it. But uh, did find the trailer and you can buy it on YouTube or get the uh, Screen Factory Blu-ray. Those are a couple of options for watching this one. And uh, Did you already tell me about the mechanic? I don't remember. But, um, is it 1972? Yeah, the mechanic. 1972, Charles Bronson. Is that, is that the one where he says, uh, he 
He's got some famous line in that one, but I don't remember. It's got, uh, what's his name? Um, Charles Bronson and uh, early uh, early appearance of uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, I forgot. Well, maybe it'll come to me, but um, Michael Vincent. Jan, Jan Michael Vincent, that's his name. Why couldn't I think of that? I haven't seen that Airwolf in a long time. That's why. <laughs> Jan Michael Vincent, yeah. I was looking for that name while you uh, typed it in the uh, live chat. Of course, you remembered. <laughs> Anyways, uh, great horror film. Like I said, I was starting to hate the beginning, but uh, supernatural horror. It's got uh, the special effects are by the same guy who did uh, The Exorcist, by the way. In case you're wondering. Uh, like I said, it got panned by the uh, the critics when it first came out in the movie theaters. But it gets a pretty high six to seven on uh, on IMDb. Do I have the mechanic in my Netflix queue? I do not, and it's unavailable. <laughs> But I can add it to my queue and wait for it to become available. I guess the mechanic. Anyways, oh, well, my favorite canon movie. Uh, good question. Probably American Ninja. I'm guessing with Michael Duty cough. <laughs> I tried to get my son to watch it, but it scared the crap out of him. It's a rated R movie. And uh, he was watching it when he was five. He can only take like 15 minutes of it. <laughs> uh, Miami Vice, I, I don't think I've ever seen. And I grew up in the 80s, so... Uh, anyways, getting back to the movie... I guess I'll add Miami Vice to my Netflix queue. <laughs> now that you mention it. And the mechanic, too. Although it won't be on my queue, it'll be my saved queue. Um, so getting back to uh, the Sentinel. So um, there's this neurotic uh, uh, actress is living in Manhattan in the late 70s and uh, she wants to live by herself Chris Sarandon plays her boyfriend the guy's kind of creepy he's all dressed up in Saturday Night Fever's suit uh, I think you asked me that question before I have not seen Murphy's Law or Messenger of Death For them again, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't ring a bell. Um, so, getting back to the Sentinel, as I was saying, <laughs> the um, the actress is, is neurotic. She she, uh, she wants to live by herself. 
Chris Sarandon goes, okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say Hollywood. I'd say the, uh, the exploitation department at uh, Canon. Hollywood is uh, more into, um, you know, Disney kind of stuff. Of course, Disney took over Star Wars. And that's when everything changed around 1995, I'd say. <clears throat> changed for the worse, in my opinion. But that's just my two cents after inflation. Yeah, everything's politically correct. Now, Star Wars has to have, have female characters. Even James Bond, for Christ's sakes, is female now. Pretty crazy, huh? Who would have thought that James Bond would be a girl back in the 80s? Amazing. Anyways, getting back to the movie. As I was saying, <laughs> the Sentinel, Michael Winner, Death Wish movies. Uh, we, had, um, we had the actress from uh, Death Wish 3 in this one. We don't know if she was in... Uh, we don't know if she actually played Sylvia Miles' necromania lesbian sister incest, but uh, we suspect that she did because it is 1977. She's looking pretty young in this one. She's, uh, she's doing some kind of fake orgasm in her leotard in front of uh, in front of the protagonist uh, Christina Raines uh, comely looking uh, Christina Raines she looks like uh, Kate Jackson from Charlie's Angels she's got that kind of hairdo and she's got the uh, the little mosquito bite breasts <laughs> kind of cute if you ask me but um Anyways, uh, Christina Raines is, is creeped out by her, totally. Because, uh, you know, lesbian sisters, or sisters doing some lesbian foo, a frolicking together, that, that doesn't sound right. That's like a perverse fetish from the dark web or something. <laughs> Fast and Furious. Well, um, I saw the 1961 or 62 version of it, the original Roger Corman version. Uh, my coworker keeps telling me to check out the remake. And I think my uh, son was actually interested in the remake at one point. He was into fast cars. Yeah, I um, I haven't paid any attention to Fast and Furious franchise, but like I said, I have seen the original Roger Corman Fast and Furious, which nobody knows about. But my coworker did tell me to check out the first one, so I guess I'll add it to my Netflix queue or whatever. Look for Mercy Murphy's Law Messenger Death. I probably already have looked for it, but uh, just in case. Yeah, Roger Corman was uh, made some pretty decent ones. I'm in the middle of watching uh, the comedy of of terror, which is pretty bad. It's not a Roger Corman movie, but it's AIP. It's pretty bad. But uh, I guess I should get back to reviewing the Sentinel. So this actress moves into this apartment building, which is the gateway to hell. And uh, John Carradine is is the blind guy staring out the window. He's like the, uh, the guardian of the gate to hell. And he also played blind, blind guy in Kung Fu TV show. Uh, John Carradine, David Carradine's dad. 
I'm in the John Carradine section of my Netflix queue, if you're curious. Piranha. I haven't seen that one either. You're talking about the 3D 2010 film, right? No. Can't be Piranha nineteen seventy eight. Yeah, nineteen seventy eight. I was thinking of the two two thousand ten film. So uh, I guess I should get back to my movie review now. <laughs> the Sentinel. So um. Yeah, I haven't seen that 1978 Piranha, but uh, I'll look for it. Anyways, getting back to the movie. So, um, Christina Raines moves into apartment, the gateway of hell, with uh, the blind John Car- Carradine uh, peering out the, the top window of the apartment building. And um, he's guarding the gate of hell. And Christina Raines is supposed to be the next in line. She's going to become a nun who guards the gate of hell from the archangel Uriel or something. Some kind of Catholic uh, stuff going on here. It was hard to follow, but uh, I think I got the gist of it. So Burgess Meredith likes to bring out his, uh, his dead dead friends from the gate of hell they're all uh, murderers Um, when she moves into the apartment she starts hearing this guy walking around upstairs but there's nobody there and then Burgess Meredith invites her to uh, like a polka party birthday party for his evil cat the black and white cat um And the two lesbian sisters are there. Like I say, you get some full frontal. Stone Cold. Never heard of that one. All right. Thanks for the tip. I'll look for all those. Uh, Mechanic Murphy's Law, Messenger of Death, Fast and Furious franchise, Piranha, and Stone Cold. I will look for those. Uh, Stone Cold. Brian Bosworth, the Seattle Seahawk dude. (laughs) Cool. I'll add it on YouTube if I can find it. Otherwise, I'll just put it on... uh, Netflix, but um, so Christina Rain starts freaking out. She's she's like passing out and uh, getting nauseated from living in the Gateway to Hell apartment building, and so she um, she enlists her boyfriend's help, but uh, there's a plot twist towards the end. Cool plot twist. I like Michael Winner. He's a good director. And uh, lots of gore and nudity in this one. Kind of surprising. Looks scary, too, with the guy kind of hanging out. The zombie dude kind of from the gates of hell kind of hanging out in the corner. And then uh, in the shadows and kind of walks out there. I think it, it has one of the most scariest moments in the history of cinema right there. And, um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. A lot of weird stuff in the middle and towards the end. When she's having the dreams about the, uh, the party with the naked, uh, lesbian foo sisters there, Sylvia Miles and Death Wish 3 lady, I guess. I don't know. I'm having a hard time, uh, 
remembering all the names in this one. But uh, highly recommended. Check it out. The Sentinel, 1977. And uh, I posted links in the description box. You're going to have to expand it, though, because there's so many dang actors' names in this. You've got Jeff Goldblum and, and Richard Dreyfus. And uh, the guy from Law and Order is in it. Really early appearances of these actors and uh, pretty cool stuff. A lot of big name actors. Um, it has the guy from um, the producers, I think, uh, Area, and a bunch of other movies that I've seen. But a lot of familiar faces in this one. Cool. So that's the end of my review. Later's.